welcome to the Salt Lake County Virtual Senior Center Drums Alive class. We're back for another round. It's round three, I think it is. Ah, so happy to be here with you, and thank you for joining today. Got our drumsticks, got our drum sets. Don't need three, okay, those of you who might not have seen this before. Uh, it is okay to have just one drum set. Use what you can there at home. Sometimes drumsticks, we need to get a little creative and grab a wooden spoon uh, or something to that effect. So, or there are also these PVC pipes. I really should bring an example for you, I will, but if you go over to Home Depot, you can get them to cut a chunk of PVC pipe for you and put end caps. To glue them on though, because we start banging on these things. You can glue end caps onto those things. And depending on your situation with your hands, that might be better, more comfortable as far as the grip because these drumsticks are not terribly wide, whereas the PVC pipe is a little bit wider and might be easier on your hands for the grip. Um, speaking of grip, it really should be kind of a loose grip. We're not trying to hold on tight here. It's, it's letting the drumstick kind of bounce and, and move around a little bit uh, naturally when you do your drumming. Uh, so bear that in mind when, when we are talking grip, but as sometimes that PVC um, width or the diameter is actually nicer for uh, our hands as they get just a little bit more stiff. Um, so moving, moving forward then, uh, we're gonna do some work here where sometimes I'm, you might see me use the drum sets on the side but you have a modification where if it's side, you can do it on the side of your own drum set, because I may be going over here side to side. Or maybe you have a chair with pillows that you want to set on either side. Yes, if you have that chair with pillows, you can just hit that and then the pillow, right? Okay, let's get started with a little bit of a warm up. I'm hoping that gives you a little clue in on what we're doing and we'll get started with this uh, this number here. Have a little fun. Shake your hands a little bit. Shake it out. Now, let's take 
So if you can see the stick holding this one upright, I have it in my left hand. I think it looks like the right through the video for you, okay? And, and holding in the center of the stick. So then the other stick is parallel to the ground. This one's upright. And, and the parallel one is closer to me so I can hit it, hit it right here, all right? Now drop that one. I want you to think of like a little helicopter, but trying to keep the helicopter rotors mostly parallel to the ground. I can't really do it parallel to the ground, right? Rotation. All right, so if I have this guy and I start on this over here, if I rotate the rotors, my up and down stick's gonna get in the way and it has to stop, so it strikes. So that's my clue to bounce back, okay? So really what we're going for, and 
If your elbows are out here, that makes it really hard. So that's something to be aware of as you do this trick, it's getting those elbows down. But it's designed to try and create some nimbleness in your wrist, yes? And your fingers, your grip, because you have to have, if you have a really tight grip, it's really hard. So finding that nimbleness and still the control with your stick going side to side. And the more you do that, the more you realize, wow, this hurts my wrist, like, and hopefully in a good way, right? Like the muscle, muscle part of your wrist, okay? All right, now, shake it out. Could try it with the other wrist, right? Don't want it lonely. Other side. And rotate the rotor. So once you've got to the point where you're figured out how this helicopter that gets stopped works, then it's a matter of finding a cadence and a rhythm. And if you want to do it to a song, and if that makes it easier for you to find a beat, right? But if you have tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, it's a little redundant, but it's, it's a good practice, right? To, to really pull focus on these, these fine motor skills on either side, okay? All right, and then quickly, I'll show you the advanced version of that uh, this way. Okay, I'm going to show you the advanced version so we have side to side like the rotation. Now, when this is on the far side, wait, wait, this is where we started, where, where the horizontal one is closer to me, right? When I rotate it over, it's away from me. Okay, so now your up and down one uh -huh, can do its own rotation up and down. Well, or is down up, depending on what part of the drumstick you're paying attention to, right? Yeah, that's a different kind of skill. So we put it together, and it's a four count puzzle. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then you can figure it out on the other side. Right? And that's about as fast as I can do it. It, it, it becomes a skill that you can develop and, until you get it so fast that you can.
open, squeeze your back muscles, all right, bringing it up, quick breathe in, out, one more, Thank you for this month, again, of Drums Alive. I appreciate you, I miss you. Thank you for joining Salt Lake County Virtual Senior Center, Drums Alive. My name is Yolanda, I appreciate you, take care.